Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, op mijn een nieuwe aflevering van Latest Mystery Journey. In deze aflevering uh, gaan we kijken waar nou dat uh, ene handje is gebleven van uh, de klok. Want die hebben we nodig, want zo morgen komen de mensen van, uh, van, 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 van Rome en dan moet het allemaal wel geregeld zijn. But apart from the missing hand, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. Really, apart from missing our hand, nothing seems to be out of place. Golly, there are no clues at all. I would have expected to see more trace of the crime. After all, it's such a large object to make of it. Um, we need more information. Let's go back down to the ground. There's something I'd like to ask Inspector Hastings. Uh, I knew this time would come. The de descent. It's all right for you, but I'm taking my life in my past climbing out these stairs. Oh yes, with your short little legs. Get off. Now, now, Cheryl, it's safer this way. Ernest can, uh, will carry you down, won't you, Ernest? I, I will? Hey, what did you pull that face for? I haven't got fleas, you know. I... Come along, no arguing. Just treat carefully, Ernest. Yes, miss. Let's go. There's Inspector Hastings. Look, even from this distance, I can see the furrows on his brow. Perhaps his investigation isn't going very well, miss. Ah, cat. What have you got for me? Who did it then? Who's the culprit? Please, Inspector, calm down. I'm still in the middle of an investigation. Oh, I see. I have a quick question for you, actually. According to Mr. Lipsky, your officers examined the clock face. Is that right? Yeah, of course. I had them check the clock room, the clock face, and all around outside as well. But there are no clues, no fingerprints, nothing. There are really no traces at all, are there? Well... I had them take samples from the floor and the walls and from the clock face. They're being analyzed back at the yard now. Uh, when will the results be ready? Shouldn't be much longer. So what's your next move? I think we'll head to uh, Chancellor Lane. We will? You mean we're going back to the office, Miss Layton? Uh, you can do that. We haven't got anything yet. Uh, I need your full attention on this case. Inspector Hastings, please, you must be so blinkered. Sometimes you have to take a step back in order to see uh, things that you uh, that they really are. Okay, so, is that so? Yes, so if um, uh, you'd excuse me. Hey, you're not serious. Ik denk dat wij gaan kijken of wij um, de missende hand kunnen zien vanuit uh, uh, Chancellor Street. Uh, want daar had die uh, bouwmeneer het over. Are you sure leaving the scene uh, is uh, leaving the scene is the best idea, Cat? Yes, of course. Come along now, you two. Let's get back to Chancellor Lane. It's no distance. We'll be there in a jiffy on a bike. Oh yes, I should explain about how we move around during the investigation. Examining the bike uh, with the magnifying glass is the best way to cover longer distances. Select the destination and touch the move button uh, to head that way. Okay, this is a tutorial. Dat wil ik allemaal niet. Precisely. Let's go back to Chancellor Lane. Ja, we willen naar Chancellor Lane moeven. Riep, riep. Kijk, 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 kijk. Well, here we are, Chancellor Lane Corner. There are a lot of interesting shops around here, are there? It's such a lively place. Um, we're here for a mini break, are we? Good idea. First, let's have something to eat. Uh, 
uh, you know, the old Maxim. A rumbling tummy is a detective's downfall. No one says that. Of course they do. Well, they should do, anyway. You know, thinking about it, I don't know uh, this street very well at all, even though it's where the agency is located. Uh, this is the perfect opportunity to have a stroll down the lane and get better acquainted with our neighborhood. Walkies, eh? Well, at least I don't have to be on a lead. We have wel zo'n muntje vol met hintjes. Geef mij al die hintmuntjes, want ik heb de hintmuntjes nodig. Een puzzel? Een verstopte puzzel? Sniff, sniff. Well, who knew? I was just sniffing around and suddenly I found a puzzle at the end of my nozzle. That happens, Cheryl. Puzzles get everywhere, you see? And seeing as you found it, you can solve it. Why me? Because I want to see if uh, you're worth keeping on. Boyo. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> see if you can. Pound it out. Alien attack. Use a special beam cannon to wipe out the fleet of UFOs uh, that have appeared over the streets of London. Each UFO has a number on it uh, and this uh, is the number of times you must hit to destroy it. Hit it to destroy it. Okay. All UFOs must be destroyed. Each beam has enough energy to travel along one line only. Uh, you can choose the direction of the beam, but you cannot travel along the beam line twice. To fire, touch um, where you would like the beam to travel. Oké, okay. ik denk dat het nu een goed tijd is om heel eventjes deze swap te maken, dat jullie mijn ding kunnen zien. Oh, ik heb ook nog zetten. Wat? Oké. Okay. Maar ik snap hem wel. Nee, nee, nee. Icing on the cake. And this was all fat puzzle. And fatting puzzling. Heh <laughs> heh. And that's a walk in the park for a hound like me. Oh, jolly good, Cheryl. You can solve puzzles on top of everything else. Top dog. Yes, very impressive, Cheryl. I can see you're going to be very useful. I don't like this so the sound of that. No, that's not good.
Nou, meneer in de sailor costume. Arr, this place serves the best seafood in town. So it does. I've sailed the seven seas and this place tops them all. Now, um, I've had a belly full. I suppose I should be heading... Uh, got a back to go to work. Okay. Let's see. What time is it the Big Bang got? Ah, uh, oh, good. At least it's not the banjacked clock face in the view from here. Okay. <laughs> that would have been just my luck. Especially seeing as how I'm uh, after losing me watch and everything. Hallo, I need a watch gevonden. Boven op de klok toren. Uh, I really rely on the uh, old clock tower now. Gosh, the missing hand of the clock is already uh, inconveniencing people, it seems. Exactly, which uh, which is why we need to be pushing on the investigation, not sampling every dish on the menu. Ik weet niet de trinkets die we vinden of die ook echt als clues gelden, maar we gaan het zien. Oh look, what a lovely terraced area is uh, this restaurant has. Ciao bella. Can I take your order, signorita? Ah, thank you. Golly, he's a little over familiar, isn't he? Just before we uh, order, I wonder if I could ask you something. Has there been anything unusual happening around here recently? Anything unusual? Hmm, well, a lot of uh, cutlery has been uh, going misly lately. A hey, steel of metal. Forks and spoons and things. Oh, yes, and a silver tray as well. You must be they were stolen? Uh, I cannot say. There uh, were no signs of breaking and entering, and no cash taken. So it doesn't seem like a burglary exactly. I see. Well, thank you. Now, uh, would it be alright if I ordered? I would, uh, I would like the squid ink spaghetti um, with the fetid herb salad on the side, please. Sounds delicious. And then the chef's ominous omelette special. The half hellfire risotto and the mushroom surprise gnocchi, please. All at the same time. And they say dogs have eyes bigger than their bellies. For a minute there, I actually thought you were attempting some serious sleuth work. Uh, what did you just tell? What I did? I just tell you, Cheryl. An empty stomach is a detective's most of a worst enemy. Um. Okay. Uh, I must go write it all down before I forget. Ah, that was absolutely delicious. I do believe I may be full. Maybe? You just ate for four. Stop making out that I'm a gluten. You and Ernest shared the food too. Yes, and it was yummy. Hmm, well anyway, shouldn't we be getting back to the investigation now? Good idea, good idea Cheryl. Uh, we simply have to recover uh, that hand before Ambassador Fuchs du Fafas uh, visit tomorrow. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've, uh, we've satisfied our appetite, yes. But now we've enjoyed a meal. There's something that must come before anything else. The third. You want more? Well, there's a nice looking cake shop further up on the street. Yes, you're right, Ernest. I've admired their cakes uh, through the window for too long. I had already made up my mind uh, to pay the place a visit before long. Uh, this is the perfect excuse. Ah, we're never going to find that hand in time. Okay. We move in. Moving like the speed of sound. Nicing all the cake. Hmm, smell that delicious sweet scent. Seeing all these tasty treats lined up before my eyes is making my tummy rumble. You're hungry? After a 10 course meal? 
Huh, you know what they say, Cheryl. There's always room for dessert. Now let's investigate all tempting offerings they have on sale. Uh, how about investigating the case? Oh, I say, uh, that pastry chef looks awfully familiar. Do we know him from somewhere? Hey, Alex Lipsky. Hello, looking to take a little something on today. Uh, but you can't decide what? Ah, oh, you're the service man from the clock tower. Uh, that's it. Yes, it's Mr. Lip Lipsky again. So you run a cake shop as well as being a technician for the clock in the Elizabeth Tower. You must be rather busy. Of course I do not. Uh, I'm Alex Lipsky. Uh, running the patisserie is my only job. Uh, you mistake me with my twin brother Hans. Uh, he is working on the Big Ben, uh, not me. Oh, I see. You have a twin. Well, that explains it. How extraordinary bumping into you both on the same day. And how interesting that you've both gone into such different lines of work. No, yes, uh, at first I may be Baker uh, and Technic look at poles apart, but there are more similarities than you think. Really? What kind of similarities? You must be both uh, good at uh, with your hands. Uh, we <laughs> have always had skills to work with complicated things since we were young boys. Uh, Mabreski uh, works with clocks. I work with the cakes. <laughs> <laughs> but we both must work with our hands, and our hands in the same way. It does sound like you're both chosen very difficult professions. No, yes, anyway, uh, you're coming here to buy cakes, uh, not to talk, uh, I think. Uh, please, uh, take a look at what you want. Uh, no, thank you, we will. We'll have a good look around at everything. A, a ton too grote beer. What a strange place to find a big teddy bear like this. It's so sweet, isn't it? But then, it's a sweet shop. <laughs> that was terrible, Ernest. Truly terrible. Sorry, anyway, I suppose uh, it's just here as decoration, isn't it? No, Ernest, I mean, it was absolutely awful. Truly awful. Well, you just have to grin and bear it. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's something strange about this bear. It's a cake. Ha, ah, that's not a bear. It's one of my cakes. See, we were gewoon al voor op de hype van is het een cake of geen cake. Is everything here actually one of your creations? No, yes. Everything you see in my shop is a cake over the pastry made by a local like something from everyday life. Well, I can see what you uh, that you have a rare talent, Mr. Lipsky. It is my fun to see how much I really think I can make my creations. Uh, I use use all different ingredients from around the world to make things look exactly like a life. At this moment, I experiment with a wafer. Well, your efforts are certainly paying off, Mr. Lipsky. These creations are capital. No, yes, and my customers like it. Uh, they want to take these cakes for the presents for their friends and uh, for the parties. And bear is uh, mostly from wafer as well, and yes, uh, they are chocolate. Wow, I'm so impressed. Let's have more uh, of a look around, miss. Mr. Lipsky said that all the ornaments and decorations in the shop were cakes that he'd made, didn't he? Uh, which presumably means that these flowers aren't real flowers, doesn't it? Yes, you're quite right, Ernest. On closer inspection, they're actually made from icing, sugar and or something. Uh, I wonder what they taste like. Miss Layton, no. Uh, uh, Miss Layton, no. You can't possibly take a bite of such a b uh, beautifully made object. Geen in, beetje smaad. Oh, the clock is cake as well. Uh, that explains why the hands aren't turning. It's hard to tell, isn't it? I generally thought it was a real clock at first. Ik 
Zijn er gewoon geen hindertjes hier? Oké, okay, dan maar met dit meisje. These cakes are simply divine. And so beautifully presented too. Alex really is so talented and he can make a cake uh, in any shape you care, uh, you care to think of, you know? It all looks so sumptuous. I can never decide what to buy. I think I'll have one of these. No, no, yes, yes, no, yes, or maybe, um, ha, no, yes. When I come here, I always end up mimicking the charming way Alex speaks. Geen puzzels, maat. Ik wil puzzels. Ik speel een leting game. Have you made your division? Uh, oh, it's so hard. Everything here looks so tasty. By the way, Mr. Lipsky, did you know um, that the hand of one of the clocks uh, in the Elizabeth Tower had gone missing? Oh, no, yes, I know. Of course, my Bratsky is worried about this. Yes, Hans said he was hoping to have it repaired as soon as possible. He could not relax if clocks are not running as they should. Uh, no, naturally. I understand how he feels. So, uh, you have decided what you like? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we're so busy admiring all your wonderful decorations. Um, yes, I think I'll go for some of your profiter rolls, please. No, uh, yes, uh, but you have to wait a short time if you don't mind. Uh, I always make a profiteroles fresh. Uh, I only put ice cream in two cases uh, when they are ordered. Uh, never before. Uh, and that way uh, cases uh, remain crisp. Uh, like they should be. Oh, I'm licking my lips already. Uh, good, uh, then I go to a kitchen and make for you. Uh, please uh, wait here. Uh, hmm picked up a scent cat. Actually, the rubbish bin there has caught my eye. I think that there is a puzzle in it. It could do uh, with being emptied, couldn't it? All the uh, rubbish is spilling out. Yes, which seems out of place in such an elegant shop. It looks like mostly paper in there. Perhaps we should investigate. There's lots of stretch of paper in the bin. Hmm, it's a sketch or something. By the look of it, I wonder what. You uh, can't tell with the paper all in pieces like that. No, we have to do something about it. Puzzle number 6. Paper caper. There are some pieces of paper in the bin with something drawn on both sides. Uh, put them back together as one sheet and figure out what the pictures show. Slide the paper to move it around in the frame, uh, taking care to not to overlap any pieces. You can't move the pieces that are already in position. You can't flip the paper over by touching it. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. We hebben zo gewoon twee parten nodig, dus deze. Kijk, deze kan hier. Die klopt sowieso. Dit zocht ik. Hier moet hier.
so. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. Ooh. Interessant. Oh, look! You can see what it is now. Hmm, it looks like some kind of recipe for squid bread, apparently. Uh, that sounds really unappetizing, even to me, and I'm a dog. Look at the back, though. What's on the back? There's something drawn uh, at the back as well. Let's see, it's the missing hand of the Elizabeth Tower's clock. And there are instructions how to make it too. It's a blueprint, miss. What the devil is a blueprint of the hand of the Big Ben doing in the rubbish bin of Alex Lipsky's patisserie? Hmm, I think we, uh, we'll we keep hold of that particular piece of rubbish. Um, is that alright, miss? Without asking, I mean. It was in the bin, Ernest. Uh, I think it's safe to assume that it's no longer something Mr. Lipsky wants. Oh, and here is the man himself, Luke. Uh, sorry uh, to keep you waiting. Uh, here are uh, your Lipsky uh, special uh, provisoroles. Uh, oh, thank you so much. No, uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, I hope you see uh, I see you again uh, sometime. I'm sure that you will. Goodbye now. Good. Now we've taken care of the dessert. I think it's time we had it back. Finally, back to the matter at hand. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.